Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome back to another episode of Unpredictable. I am your host, John Arsino. And before I dive in, I quickly just wanted to touch upon a few things. So I hope all of you are aware that, you know, this month is a very special one. It's uh, mental health awareness. And as somebody who has been dealing with mental health issues for the past three years or so, I understand how incredibly important it is to constantly check up on your loved ones, your family, your friends. Maybe they seem a little bit more quiet than usual, a little bit more distant. Just, you know, shoot them a text, give them a call, make sure they're doing okay, because that's the thing about mental health. It's invisible. You know, you can't see when someone is truly hurting. So I urge you all to please reach out to your people, all right? Check up on them. Make sure they are okay, because I promise you it goes a very, very long way. And for those who are struggling, who have this mental health issues as well as I do, you know, speak your emotions. Let your voice be heard. Share what's going on with your head, going on in your head. You know, it goes a, it goes a very long way. It's a big help when you, when you speak out, because you're not only helping yourself, but you're encouraging others to also speak out. So please, 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 please. All right, let's all pay attention to everybody. All right, let's everyone love everyone. You know, anybody see Semi Pro here? Will Farrell, ELE. Everybody love everybody. All right, it's the tropics. You know, their, their slogan, their team slogan. Let's be about that, all right? This is a lovely transition, all right? Because my good friend Alex, who I originally met actually in um, Columbia University, she was an intern at the time when I was doing my inpatient therapy there. And I originally met Alex because she was wearing the OG Ultra Boost. And I hope, I don't know, if, if you guys don't know what sneakers are, um, Ultra Boosts are probably the most comfortable sneakers out there. They're also a fire. But so she was wearing these sneakers and we instantly hit it off after that. She was like my best friend ever. So she had recently started up this new brand called the Mental Wealth Club on Instagram. I really encourage you guys to follow it. It is a awesome, awesome, awesome brand that's encouraging you to speak out to encourage you to help and it, what a perfect time to speak about something like this because it not only helps others encourages others to 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 give a helping hand but it's also inspiring and motivating people who have these these issues to speak about them to share what they have learned share their coping mechanisms and I, you know, my hat's off to you, Alex, because the world needs this. Okay, when we're on the topic of different brands, I have to give a shout out to my guy, Joe Latona with LT Visual Media. Okay, so when I started uh, Tweet Fitness, you guys see the, the sticker right here. If you're not watching the video, then listen, Tweet Fitness, follow us on Instagram, okay? Tweet Fitness. But Joe originally made us an incredible, incredible promo video for a tweet. And we developed like a crazy relationship, you know, inside the gym, outside the gym. We can't, we became brothers. He's my boy. But ever since then, we just developed a crazy relationship. And he has made me the new intro to this podcast that came out super, super fire. Listen to I don't know many photographers on Staten Island, so don't don't get mad at me when I say this, but this guy, Joe, is the best on Staten Island. He knows exactly what he's doing at all times. It's incredible to watch him work because, you know, he's a magician beyond the lens. Really is. Another brand I would love to quickly shout out is Kill Van Cull, okay? When I'm in the gym, I'm not the most approachable person in the world, uh, I'll be completely honest with you. This guy, Carl, Carl's the, the creator of Kill Van Cole, approached me and he says, yo, I like your, uh, I like the way you dress, I like your style. So he, you know, we quickly developed like a crazy relationship. He gave me his card, extremely professional individual. Um, he gave me his card to his website. So I checked out his website and 
he has extremely, extremely nice uh, brand material. Like incredible, like that vintage, like fire. It's really good stuff. So I got to look into his website and I came across his, he has a vintage link that it brought me to Harley Davidson vintage clothes. And I don't know about you guys, but some vintage Harley is some incredibly, incredibly nice stuff, okay? If you don't have any vintage Harley laying around, go and grab some vintage Harley because it's fire. But that's my man Carl, incredibly, incredibly professional individual. He hand delivered this shirt to me along with a bunch of stickers as well as the sticker you see on the back of this laptop. Again, if you're not watching the video, I apologize. You can't see the sticker, you know, whatever. But Carl, great dude, okay? I highly recommend you guys go check out his Instagram, Kill Van Call. okay? Hit that link in the bio. Bring him to, brings you to his website where you're just gonna discover a whole lot of heat. So highly recommend that. One more brand that I must shout out to is Hydrojug. Okay, once again, Hydro Drug, you don't know me, I don't know you, but listen, what we got going on here is something good, okay? I've been helping you guys out. Maybe you guys can return the favor, who knows? I don't know, maybe we can, uh, listen. You know, my email is in the bio, all right? So maybe we can potentially work something out in the future, I don't know, who knows? Who knows, I don't know. <laughs> but all right, anyway. Into today's episode, so today I want to talk about the word extraordinary and what that word really means to me, why I believe I've, I've really met that word, and why I also strongly believe that this word is obtainable. You know, everyone has the chance to be extraordinary, and I hold by that. So, when I was in the hospital, Okay, um, my mind was slightly, you know, busy. I don't know, I was thinking about a lot. So I was looking for ways to, you know, kind of kind of think about other things, more happy things. So if you knew me before surgery, I had a slight obsession with sneakers. Still do today. I love sneakers. I don't know what it is. But that was a major role in my recovery as I looked to buy more sneakers. <laughs> So I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with more than the athlete. I hope everyone knows who LeBron James is. If you don't know who LeBron is, well, I, don't, I mean, I don't know. That's 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 rough. That's that's extremely unfortunate. But anyway, LeBron started this uh, this brand. I am um, more than an athlete. I am I am uninterrupted. That's that's the brand. But this pair of sneakers is a pair of Air Force Ones. Okay, if you're not. Um, if you're not watching the video, you're listening. Um, listen, again, I, I apologize. I'm holding the Air Force One, the Nike Air Force One. Okay, LeBron made it. It came with two Sharpies. It came with a black Sharpie and a blue Sharpie. And you're, you're actually able to write. As you can see, I wrote here. Um, I wrote something back there that we'll speak about in a second. But I got the pair of sneakers and I knew that I wanted to, you know, I wanted to write on them a little bit. I wasn't sure if I was because it's it's a nice sneaker. So before before I got them, I was playing with the term um, extraordinary. I knew that that was a term I was looking. I wanted to become extraordinary myself. So I got the pair of sneakers. I was holding them in my hands, and I saw the sharpies. So I lost all self control, and I wrote extraordinary on the back of this sneaker. And this was before I knew that I would potentially, you know, make it this far in my recovery um, and share all this with all of you. So this sneaker, I mean, I don't think I've worn this sneaker ever since I wrote on them because it, it's no longer a shoe to me. It's no longer something I'm just going to put on my foot. It's more of a piece of art, a constant reminder that I met this goal. And although I met this goal, I can continue to push the boundaries and maybe become a step further than extraordinary. Who knows? But 
other than that, it also kind of explains to me that that you, all of you, have the opportunity to be extraordinary. Everybody holds the proper tools in their minds to 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 become to become extraordinary, and it's something I. I strongly believe everyone has. They all have this light, this spark inside their head that, you know, truly that truly unlocks doors that can potentially lead to, you know, more success, bigger goals. And I understand that people are happy where they are. People have are comfortable and I hope everyone listens to my episode on comfort zones. You'll understand how I feel about that nonsense. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think everyone has that opportunity. And if they want it, if they truly, truly want it, then they will get there. And for me, I was left no choice. Um, again, I was left in a pretty you know, dark space. So I really had no other option to myself you know, that I wanted to become this word. I was willing to work every, excuse me, I have to take a little sip. Hydro jug. What do we think here? I don't know. It's good stuff. I don't know. Anywho, so extraordinary. Many, oh, that's, fuck, that's loud. Um, everybody has the light, the spark. I said this. And it's ultimately up to us if we want to fully ignite that spark, if we want to chase that flame. So I know I know people find themselves in positions where they feel as if they're they're unable to move. They're put in these positions where they feel like their back is up against the wall. I know what that feels like because I was there many times before. I know what that feeling feels like. It's almost like you're holding your breath and you're drowning. And it's it's a terrible, terrible feeling. At the end of the day, okay, being extraordinary means that we are all, you know, we all carry this insane work ethic and we all know what it's going to take to get to get to the finish line. We are willing to do whatever it takes, no matter what. Okay, if you want to truly be extraordinary, you want to write your fucking this word on the back of a pair of sneakers or <laughs> I mean, yeah, really, when I think about it, you're not going to write it on a pair of sneakers, probably not going to happen. But if you want to write it anywhere, yeah, or I don't know. Anywho, the point I'm getting at here is the word extraordinary can be reached. Everybody has the chance to be extraordinary. And it's ultimately up to your mentality. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want to succeed? Okay, myself, okay, I was left with absolutely nothing. Okay, I needed to work every single day to have what I have today. And I still have a very, very long ways to go. That's why I believe I am extraordinary. Okay, I'm willing to do anything possible to get where I want to go and that's what I'm trying to preach to all of you is that we all have the opportunity to go where we want to go in life everybody carries it we all have it in the back of our heads we all we all think that we can but we're not ultimately allowing ourselves to give it a try because we're scared of failure okay so what I'm trying to say here is I'm urging you guys to reach for further goals. Extend your arms out a little bit more, reach for new heights, because we really don't know what we are truly capable of until we give it a shot. So I just wanna quickly um, quickly touch upon the topic of the Mental Health Awareness Month once again. Um, you know, again, someone who has dealt with mental health issues for quite a while now. I've been dealing with, you know, I've dealt with depression several times and that shit's real. That shit hurts. But the thing about depression or any other men, mental health, you know, thing that we, you know, we should be worrying about is it's invisible. You know, just like my brain injury, 
you know, when I walk in a gym or any type of social setting, nobody really knows that I'm dealing with something um, so tragic. So when it comes to mental health, I have extreme, extreme passion for it um, because I know that there are people out there that are, are genuinely hurting. And it's something that I don't think is spoken about enough. Um, it's definitely something that needs to be heard more about. And that's why I, I'm so happy to see my friend Alex start this mental wealth club. And I'm also excited to see other organizations form to, you know, help this cause because it's something that's wildly, wildly underrated when it's, it's a pretty big deal today, you know, across the world. I mean, we lose so many people daily to these injuries that you can't even see. And this is why it's so important for us to realize that, you know, you know, tomorrow is never promised. Um, so check up on your loved ones, your family, your friends, see how they're doing. I mean, you don't realize that a simple text message can make their day. I know me, for example, the smallest gesture of emotion towards me can, 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 you know, switch my whole mood around. And I can only imagine what it can do for anybody else who's struggling internally. Because again, you're not alone here. There are so many people who are dealing with, you know, you know, this trauma that is, that's unseen, that we all have a voice. We all are able to speak about, you know, what's on our mind, share our emotions. And, you know, I encourage you to inspire others with your voice. You know, share your thoughts, share your opinions, because myself and I'm sure a lot of other people would love to hear about, you know, how you deal with things. How, you know, what do you do? What, what activities do you like to do? I know I would really enjoy it to hear anything, everything about that. So listen, everybody, it is always, 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 always a good day to have a good day. I'm gonna catch you on the next one.